Hey there guys, Classic Homer here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we got the Cut HM, and this time we need to actually teach it to someone so we can progress. There's no way to move forward without cutting down the itty bitty little tree. And everyone can learn it, but it kinda isn't a very good move. And after looking at what everyone can, or not, can learn, but has already learned, I decided I was going to give it to Hater because uh, he actually just lacks any real way to attack right now. I mean, Poison Sting is not impressive. Rap sucks. It's even less impressive. So, yeah. Hater's just going to cut trees down with his uh, bite, I guess? How else would a snake do it? cut a tree. Constrict a tree to pieces? Yeah, sure, maybe. A very small tree and a very big snake. I mean, that's kind of like expecting a person to just wrap their arms around a tree and break it. Snakes are definitely stronger than we are, but that might be a bit much. Also, oh no, isn't there a guy around here that um, teaches head butt? Uh-oh. Oh no, what is this? Oh god, the Guardian of the Forest! Hello! Um, totally isn't gonna end poorly for me. Shit. Sarah! Come out and crush it! At the very least, I am many levels higher than that. Oh good, and it just said, actually, I'm more afraid of you than you are of me. Go away. That guy. Oh, hey, an item I missed. Don't that guy teach headbutt? I think that guy teaches headbutt. I might want him to teach me headbutt. I'm really missing Larry. Oh yeah, you know what? Come to think of it, uh, Hater is a really good choice for this, because now Hater has cut, and this guy... This fellow Ekans is not going to be able to do very much against me, relatively speaking. I'm just going to cut him down a whole lot faster than he's going to wrap me up. Yep, that sentence makes perfect sense out of context. Yeah, totally. Definitely does not lead to weird mental images whatsoever. Not that any of it matters, that's a one fewer snake out here for me to worry about, and more importantly, Hater actually got some XP. Oh great, another wide lens. I don't want more wide lenses. They, they no help. They don't serve a purpose for me. I want to get to that guy. Hmm, I've had Merrells before. I'm not disappointed about missing out on them. Missing out on Ho kind of suck, but what you gonna do? Now, if only this thing were already fairy type, then my poison sting would be very good. I'd get double damage and same type of attack bonus. It'd be about as powerful as Cut. Yeah! But, you know, with a chance to poison, so. That kind of makes up for it. So bulky. Just go down. Oh. That's effed up, game. Congrats! You finished hitting this equally leveled little uh, Junkmon down. And then Aftermath you nearly kills you anyway. What? Even. I'm not going back to the freaking Pokemon Center. This is ridiculous. Could really use some berries, though. Oh no! Skip Loom! I don't get to get a Skip Loom. At least not from here. <laughs> That's right, it's like... A grass flying magic card, kinda. It only knows a few moves, and one of them is Splash. 
it's so not useful. Oh, sorry about that. I had a awful scratch on my head I need to take care of. My headphones are right over. Mm, it's so dangerous with its tail whips. Great. Learned anything? No? Okay. Well, fine. We can throw uh, dust clops up front now. And do all of seven damage to everything until they finally die. Yep! That dude's just smashing his face against a tree. Yes. Yes. Um. Which ones can learn it? Is probably the uh, better question here. You know who could use a really decent normal type move for the long haul? Fine. You know who already has a ton of normal type moves? You gotta be kidding me! Who is going to smash their head against walls for me? Hmm. Can no one learn headbutt? This is junk. <sighs> Fine. Maybe someone else some other time. Maybe Rat Trap could learn it. That would suddenly make Rat Trap a whole lot more valuable. It's like the only one of few Pokemon I can even think of that really is iconic for me for headbutting is Beedoo. Which is practically a rat trap anyway. Uh. Sure, I can show you around this forest. <laughs> Just because I'm lost doesn't mean I don't know where I'm going. Shut up, I know that's like the whole definition. Quiet. It's all about confidence. I'm not sure I would listen to a dust clops just randomly directing me to where to go, because, you know, it's a ghost. I'd be afraid to be just kind of leading me to my doom! This is not a great strategy against the uh, Merrills, because uh, doesn't their whole line, like, have a uh, really high HP base stat. It's not like what they're good at. So, set damage, not so great for them. Not a good way to deal with them. Even though I'm probably doing about as much as Hater was doing with Cut. So, whatever, it all works out, right? Heat Rock. Why am I unfamiliar with what Heat Rocks are and what they do? Some weird late game Gen 4 thing? Oh, much like a Smoothie Rock. Okay, yeah, exactly that. Makes sunny days last longer. I don't have a Pokemon with a sunny day. And I've never made a team that was like all based on using weather, because that was kind of a very Gen 5 thing. I mean, are you talking about Ho-Oh? Because I know you're not, but are you talking about Ho-Oh anyway? Because I found Ho-Oh, or it found me, whatever. It, uh, oh god, that was... could have been really scary. This could be really good. This could be really good! As long as it doesn't get murdered somewhere along the way. Oh, no! Um... So, definitely not you. I'm afraid to put Sarah in, because I'm afraid Sarah's just gonna be like, Oh, cool! Little Bagon! Crunch! And it's dead. 
I definitely wanted to get my ghost type out of there. Fury attack, because it's at least a lower power move. And I'm always unlucky with it, so I never get five hits. Do not you dare get five fucking hits. Okay. If it actually managed to hit five times at the one time I don't want it to, I would have been extremely upset. Like, if you would have heard this controller start hitting this desk. I'm a little impressed at how easily it broke out of that Pokeball, but I'm going to try it again anyway. Wow! It just gave up the second time. First time, though, it's like, no, nah, I'm breaking out! Rawr! It comes right out of the Pokeball. Second time, didn't even really seem to try to get out. I mean, it wasn't a critical hit. It, it, Still shook three times, it's just I'm surprised it didn't break out like one shake or two shakes. Uh, what do you name, um, uh, what are they called? Cephalopods? What's the dinosaur with the crazy craniums that smash their head into things? It's not cephalopods, how am I talking about? So the, um, the dinosaur I'm thinking of has a name that is gonna be really hard to pronounce and definitely is too long but cephalopod wasn't that far off because uh, it's a uh, pachia cephalosaurus sure I'm going to say that I said that mostly right but it's uh yeah, it's like this. <laughs> Cepha... Losaurus. Elhosaurus. So, yeah, definitely does not fit. Um... But, oh no, oh, that's awful. <laughs> I was like, okay, so how can I make a nickname out of this? Well, I like the Cephalosaurus, since, you know, I immediately thought of that, so I think that has to do something with the um, brain or cranium or something along those lines. Uh, Cephala has some kind of um, etymological, etymological? Whatever. I can't words today. There's some kind of relation between uh, that and head. So, uh... Where my mind went was... Did we just name it Sephi? Like, Sephiroth? But... Like... Just name it Sephi. <laughs> Uh, this is awful. I'm a terrible person. But that's what I'm going with, because I can't think of anything else. Ah, shit. Alright! Now we just need to make it to Goldenrod without having anyone die, and we can take a look at that Pokemon. Actually, we don't even have to go that far. Um... going very slow on purpose. I'm trying to be extremely careful to run into... Hi! At least I have the better version of you. But as few of these crazy things as I can, and as few of anything else ridiculous... Good. <laughs> I was afraid it was going to be like, well, for no good reason at all, I know magnitude, and just kill me. But nope. I think this Rhyhorn is going to be stuck uh, knowing only normal type moves, just like my Rhyperior. So, 
Hinox may be the perfect thing to fight it. At least right now. Watch it just surprise me from out of nowhere. Rock throw! Dead! Because it reduced my defense like six times. Tail whip on the way there. And using Leer to reduce its defense would not help me whatsoever. Nightshade is not going to do any more damage if I do that. Unfortunately, because Nightshade's only doing 7 damage and this uh, Rhymorn has a lot more health, I'm pretty much going to run out of Nightshades before I kill it. Even though I remember the uh, daycares on this group, they have a computer. You can heal your Pokémon by putting them in the computer. So if I can make it there, I can just put Hinox away, put uh, Hater away. Wow, that was a very long time to hit that level up, but did it still from the same battle. Oh, I got really sad. It's going to learn to move, Foresight. That sucks. What am I supposed to do with Foresight? I'm like, no, I'd rather keep all my other moves. Um, give up on Foresight. Unless I also then got, uh, Hypnosis and Dream Eater. I don't foresee Foresight being, uh, all that useful. Just inspecting the team. I think I'm one step above him. There. No! Another trainer! I need to not encounter anything. Shit. Oh my god, why? What? <laughs> it has snow warning? Yeah, no, that's awful. That Dragon Rage is going to kill a lot of my Pokémon all in one shot. I swear I'm not trying to get Connie murdered, but she has, like, really good defense and is a lot less useful to me than Sarah. Oh, F me, this is bad. Well, Dragon Rage can't critically hit, so that's good. Fuck. Not what I wanted to see. Oh, right, and then they hail. Mm. I'm really glad I didn't put uh, Sarah out there. Okay, cool, now I need to heal. About my status, I need HP. May as well be the energy powder. Doesn't matter. I wonder if there's ever going to be a turn it doesn't try and dragon rage me. Oh, good. Thank Christ. Run the hell. Oh, fuck you. Like, there's just no way. There's no possible way this goes well. I was happy to see a bag on. But it could have been a guard shop, apparently. And again, you know, I could have gotten ho -Oh when I got Ekans, so... We see where my luck is. Fine, you know what? It's not Dragon Rage. Kill it! As long as he keeps trying to sandstorm and... Um... Oh god, whatever else. Sand attack, there we go. As long as it wastes turns doing non damaging moves, I'm totally fine with that. Is that kid... 
Okay, no, never mind. On my monitor, it was really hard to tell that kid was wearing a yellow shirt. I was like, why is there just a topless kid in a Pokemon game? That's weird. Oh man, I just realized. This is the best time to put Sakura in the uh, daycare because she'll never learn moves anyway. So this would be a great way to keep her healthy and uh, not falling too far behind level-wise with the rest of the team. So if there's ever a uh, point in time where I need her, she's ready. And no, Grandma, we are not dating. That's weird. I don't know why that's a thing that, like, parents and grandparents do. I'm like, oh, my grandchild's with another child of the other gender, and they're roughly the same age. Clearly, they're a couple. No, sorry. You can know people that are, you know, around your age, or that you interact with on a nearly daily basis and not have, like, the primal sexual need to fuck all the time. No, not you. Soundproof. Interesting. And it has a fluffy tail. Okay. Um, I... Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna hesitate to say it. This is a definite addition to the team. But who do I get rid of? So the team's already kind of tanky. So I'm not sure I need Dusclops. Not to mention, I've already got another ghost. Dusclops only has the... Yeah, you know what? No more debating. Has already gotten to a much higher level than Hater. But Hater has cut. Not like can't teach cut to someone else, but yeah, it's... Oh wait, the game's dumb. I just realized it's not Pokemon uh, Sun or Moon. I'm going to have to bring Sakura into the party to leave her in the daycare. You can't just do this straight from your boxes. Oh, the advances we have made! Yes, please. Raise up this poor Ninetales. Beautiful, has a good ability, will never learn moves ever again. Now we can bring uh, Nana back into the party. Then, um, you know what? Oh, old man, what do you want? Oh. Okay, sure. I guess we don't really get a choice in it anyway, but that's fine. Cool, daycare man and daycare lady. It's still early enough in the day the police officer shouldn't attack me. Ah, oh, crap, there's another Pokemon trainer there. And finally, we have made it to Goldenrod City. Um... I'm going to end the video here, but at this point, I would like to remind everyone watching that you can submit names for my Pokemon, and I will take them to the name raider in this town and make their name change to something much better that you suggest, if it is indeed uh, better, in my opinion. Which, I mean, yeah, sorry. It, that is a subjective thing, but at the same time, I don't think it's hard to do a lot better. Like, Hinox is a throwaway name. You could come up with a way better name for a Cyclops than I did. Rat Trap? Sure. Whatever. I'm not the biggest uh, Transformers Beast Wars fan. I'm not married to the name. Aranea? Whatever. Sefi? As much as it makes me laugh because it's so dumb. Um, anyone else? Please, something better.
like the only names I'm way into are uh, honestly just Sarah. Everyone else's name I'm more than willing to change for something that sounds much cooler or better or cuter. But uh, I like Sarah a lot. I would be so depressed if she died. So very depressed. Oh my god. I have to find another gym very soon. And I'm afraid everything in there is going to be so much stronger than anything I've got. Because I'm not obeying the one plain and simple rule to succeeding in Pokemon. Do not use a full team of six. <laughs> use a team of like three diverse Pokemon. And you'll probably do just fine in nearly every situation. I, uh... Blatantly ignore that. Because, yeah, these guys... Way more than three. And only now are my uh, teammates getting somewhat diverse. Typing-wise, that is. Like, how long did I go before I got something that didn't have normal as one of its two types? Feels like an eternity for me. For you guys, yeah, it was like a couple days. Anyhow, next time, names, training, preparations for Whitney. At least this time, she's not likely to have a rolling cow. See you later.